what's up everybody welcome back to another video and um, yeah today as you can see I'm checking out ASUS's ROG Ryujin 2 360 they're all-in-one water cooling solution that also has a small little LCD screen on top of uh, the pump and also a fan underneath the LCD to maybe you know help uh, a little bit better uh, cool the VRMs or so something like that that are like near the CPU not the CPU itself not the pump but uh, yeah mainly for the VRMs which is nice I guess uh, but thankfully you can turn this fan off completely if you wish Anyway, uh, yeah, if you're wondering uh, how good uh, is this thing in 2023, should you buy this thing uh, for your Core i9-13900K, then stick around, because uh, I'm gonna be testing it in Cinebench R23 and 3 Mark Port Royale. Now, first of all, when I took it out of the package, right, uh, and before even coming to that, the price, uh, it's like uh, around 350 euros. So, I mean, you could get something uh, that performs pretty much the same in terms of temperatures uh, for around like 200 bucks I guess but maybe it doesn't have such a cool LCD screen on it or maybe it does have it but anyway yeah Asus is asking a premium price here and uh, yeah I mean it does look and feel premium uh, but yeah 350 euros it's a pretty high price to pay for an all-in-one cooling solution and uh, yeah something to also mention here is that it also comes with a fan and RGB controller uh, which is pretty nice I guess uh, but yeah what makes this thing so special so yeah it is the LCD screen and I guess the extra fan underneath um, the LCD screen uh, do help uh, you know cool the VRMs if your case has absolutely no ventilation right uh, if your uh, case has some decent amount of ventilation uh, you shouldn't even enable the fan uh, which yeah uh, coming to the software part we can head into the armory great software and disable the uh, actual uh, fan that is uh, on top of the pump uh, which is nice and uh, which I also did when I manually uh, you know adjusted settings and tried to see where the temperatures go uh, but yeah uh, other than that uh, I mean the LCD screen is pretty decent uh, I guess it will burn in over time uh, but yeah I, I can't test this like a year straight or something like that uh, if your PC is turned on 24-7 yeah it, it might burn in so keep that in mind but that's the case with pretty much all the LCD or OLED screens that you see on uh, all-in-one water cooling solutions uh, but here uh, here what you can do is you know uh, the typical stuff right uh, dis display the temperatures uh, with a nice uh, gif like uh, background also uh, so yeah that's pretty neat you can also put some custom uh, jpegs or bngs uh, to display some wallpapers and so some cool images on the display instead or even use a gif and then you know uh, make it display uh, whatever pretty much you want on this thing uh, so that's pretty neat I guess but yeah it's a GIF it's not a really high uh, FPS uh, LCD screen so it is a bit limited but yeah I tried a few GIFs out here and uh, it, it looked pretty decent overall so the first test was in smart turbo mode uh, I'd say this is what you want to use always but feel free to reduce the pump RPM manually to minimum settings and uh, also disable the pump's uh, external fan to get the most quietest experience possible. But uh, for benchmarking I just left it at a smart turbo mode and the CPU temperature in this configuration reached an average of uh, about 88 to 90 degrees Celsius in a room with an ambient temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, do take note that uh, how hot the VRMs got uh, 53 degrees Celsius now next I disabled the pumps external fan but everything else I still left at smart turbo and uh, what I saw after another 30 minute run was that the CPU temps uh, were pretty much the same but uh, check the VRMs yeah 
56 to 57 degrees Celsius. I mean, overall I feel the fan is a good idea, but if you have any sort of ventilation in your case, uh, you can just disable it. So next I launched a 3 Mark Port Royal stress test for 20 minutes and the average CPU temperature on Smart Turbo uh, with the pump fan disabled was around 58 degrees Celsius. Overall it performed pretty well, but uh, you can always adjust the fans and and the pump uh, itself uh, to be a lot quieter while gaming uh, by just you know lowering their top rpm with the downside of course uh, being a bit harder cpu uh, but yeah even in smart turbo mode it was actually pretty quiet even while gaming and um, yeah i made a quick little noise test also so take a listen how loud were the fans and pump at the smart turbo speed setting uh, without the pump's uh, external fan So I hope you guys have a little bit uh, better understanding how the Ryujin 2 360 uh, operates uh, in 2023, right? And uh, yeah, for 350 bucks without RGB fans, it's a pretty premium price to pay. Uh, so yeah, you, you just have to ask yourself, you know, how much money do you have? Are you a billionaire or not, right? Uh, if you're not, I guess it's maybe worth to save the extra uh, money, right? Uh, buy something uh, else a little bit cheaper and uh, maybe add that money into your uh, video card so you could buy a 4080 instead of a 4070 Ti or something like that, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, you just need to think about uh, you, how much do you actually like, like this uh, CPU cooling solution? Or if you already have it and you're wondering, can I upgrade to a 3900K and still have a good time? Yes, you can. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for the review. Uh, my final verdict for the ROG Ryujin 2 360 is going to be on 7.5 out of 10. And um, yeah, just mostly because uh, it's a little bit high on price. It's not too crazy expensive, but still 350 bucks is a pretty premium uh, to pay for an all-in-one uh, water cooling solution. But at least it does look pretty premium overall and still gets the job done uh, pretty well on an uh, Intel Core i9-13900K. So yeah, in my opinion, the fair value of this thing is like, like 225, maybe 250, but 350 is a little bit too expensive. Not too extremely expensive, but a little bit expensive. A anyway, yeah, that's it for my uh, video review. I hope I covered uh, most of the stuff here, uh, but if I left something out, uh, you know, leave it down below in the comments and I'll try to answer it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao for now.